theater uh, is is truly unique. It 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 is it's sort of like some other things, but it's not like other things at all, right? So it's not like film because film is very precise. You you can capture a moment, you edit it, and it's done, and and it's the same every time. Live theater is is much more like. Um, the ancient tradition of storytelling, right? It's like actual human beings standing in front of other actual human beings. Um, and for me, there's something about that immediacy, that human connection that really allows for the possibility of, of uh, connecting with the story in ways that for me aren't are quite as there when there's this, this window between us, you know, film is like a window, I think. Um, and, and theater, when, when it's really happening, I think it's kind of like what people uh, experience in church. It can be that kind of life changing. It's, it's the opportunity for, for insights and, um, and emotion and, uh, it can be really, really powerful and and life changing if it's the right material on the right night, or at a minimum, it can just be uh, a a fun escape from whatever was on the other side of that theater door. It's, I think it's really, for me, it's really life sustaining and in, like I said, in in good moments, it can be life changing, life altering. Theater experiences is. is you is unique because it is live and in person it is not like film the film is wonderful you can capture a moment and it is that way forever and i love that aspect of of directing but theater is it's a breathing thing that the the after you you know develop a piece for six weeks or so however long it takes the the additional piece is the audience and every night, a new character shows up into the room, being that the audience brings a new energy and a new perspective. And so, and even the actors coming to the theater and going through the story again, beginning at the beginning, retelling the story, they have to re-experience, re-engage these moments, and it becomes a living thing. And 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 it's one of those things that it becomes mixes. Um, special because we think of great concerts, we think of great theater experiences where people speak of like moments that they will never forget and they will often say, you had to be there. Like, you had to be there on that night because that night something happened that was that, that, that doesn't happen all the time. So I, we, we reach for those, we, we open ourselves, we avail ourselves for those moments that can be life-changing um, and as an as a performer, um, it, it it just awakens your um, it just awakens you know the spirit of what we do. <laughs> it's like this is why we do this. We do this for those moments to have those moments that um, that are true and honest and real and in the moment. Um, and as a director. Uh, you know, crafting those opportunities for that to happen, and then uh, being a, a part of that um, when, when you when it does happen for an audience or for the actors, that's that's a, a gift for a, a for a director, is especially in the theater. That when it happens, you you feel like you've given you've given a gift that is even was even given to you. It's, it flows through you. So I. I I can't get enough of it. I still get chills in the in the rehearsal rooms. I, I still I still love it. I love the process of it all. The theater experience is such a unique experience, um, and I think it's because of the energetic exchange. Um, I was just talking about this the other day with friends about how you know you do film, and there's there's just such a different. Uh, thing that happens when there's an audience who's reacting and you can feel their investment in what's happening and the journey that you're on and you can feel them going on a journey with you. Um, 
I think that that's like the most magical and crazy transformative thing about theater, both for the audience and for the actor that you're going through like a very human experience together. It's not just sitting in a movie theater and watching something play back, watching someone else's experience. An audience member is involved in the experience and they inform the experience. It's, it's actually quite collaborative. So I, I think that that's, that's really the main, the main thing. I think the theater experience is as unique as it is because there is just no substitute for for being in the room with somebody as they as they feel and as they um, communicate both to each other, but also when they turn toward the audience and allow the audience to see and feel what they are what they are feeling. You know, I mean, when I, I was in the drama school for a lot of my life and, and a whole lot of what you're taught is just how to be vulnerable and how to allow yourself to be in a vulnerable, vulnerable place when people are watching and when a lot of people are staring at you. Um, and it's just different, you know, on, on a movie screen, they're quite literally larger than life. They are, they are blown up to these kind of wild proportions and they're, they're, you know, in these often very and fantastical uh, circumstances and, and blockbusters and superheroes and you have people on a stage just trying to be heard and um i just don't think there's a real substitute for that in terms of why it's so dynamic and why it's so kind of electrifying and, and the actors on stage feed off the audience and and the audience you know at, in, in 2021 if you're coming to a play it's because you want to you know there's a whole lot of content out there and so if, if you if you walk into that theater it's because you want to be there it's because you want to engage and be part of the process. So often, you know, you, you find some pretty supportive and, and receptive houses, which is, I also think a, a, a nice part of it is, you know, you got to make the effort to come out these days. You could just sit home and watch YouTube. It is where I feel, where I feel at home. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, in whatever capacity uh, I get to express myself as an artist creatively um, through acting and storytelling, uh, I love it. Um, but there's something about live theater. There's something about that exchange between the audience. Uh, there's something about not being able to cut or even stop in the middle of something and say, look, can I take that again? You know. Um, and it's something very special and very, very spiritual and, and, and magical uh, uh, in that. Um, so that love, it started, but it's, it's ever growing. It's ever growing, uh, as I feel love should, you know. Um, it never just stops if, if it's really true. I think the theater experience is so unique, uh, apart from other artistic expressions. Um, of course, there's the audience and that immediate feedback you get. Um, singers get that as well, dancers. Um, but as actors, and I've worked a good bit on camera now, what I like about the theater uh, most is that you get to take the entire journey from A to Z every night. Um, you know, in film, you might start with scene 13, then go to scene two, and then scene 27. And, and that is a skill and a, and a thrill all its own. But being able to tell that whole story from beginning to end every night, um, that's what's most special about the theater to me.